Come on, flowers. Prego, cappuccino. Did you ever think the bad guys could go bad again? Well, it looks like they just might. DreamWorks just dropped the first trailer for The Bad Guys 2, and trust me, it's a wild mix of nostalgia, heart, and high-stakes heists. What happens when society won't let you escape your past, and you're forced to team up with your rivals? You need to see this. DreamWorks fans, buckle up. Our favorite crew of reformed con animals is making a comeback. That's right. The first trailer for The Bad Guys 2 just dropped, and it's got everything we could hope for. Flashy heists, witty banter, and, oh yeah, some major moral dilemmas. Stick around because I'm breaking down all the juicy details about this sequel and why it could be DreamWorks' next big hit, The Bad Guys. Two kicks off by taking us back, way back, to the glory days of Mr. Wolf, Mr. Snake, and the gang pulling off their signature heists. Remember how slick they were in the first film? Well, this time, we see how hard it is to leave their bad boy reputation behind. The trailer gives us a peek at their struggle to fit into a society that doesn't fully trust them yet. And let's be real, if anyone's going to crack first, it's Mr. Snake. But can you blame him? It's tough going from a life of thrills to being, well, ordinary. Just when the crew thinks they're out of the game, they're pulled back in by a new rival crew, the Bad Girls. And let me tell you, these ladies are fierce. They're the new kids on the block, turning heads and shaking things up. But here's the twist. Instead of competition, our original bad guys are forced to work with them. One last heist? Oh, you know it's going to get messy and hilarious. Oh, and Mr. Snake? He's got a little romance brewing with one of them. Who saw that coming? Let's talk about this stellar cast. Sam Rockwell is back as the smooth-talking Mr. Wolf, and we've got Aquafina cracking jokes as Ms. Tarantula. Mark Marin, He's serving all the sass as Mr. Snake. Plus, Zazie Beetz returns as Diane Foxington, and we even see Alex Borstein and Richard Aoade reprising their hilarious roles. Honestly, DreamWorks nailed it with this cast. The chemistry in the first movie was spot-on, and it looks like the sequel is going to crank it up even higher. If you're loving these updates, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more deep dives into all things animation. The Bad Guys 2 isn't the only thing cooking at DreamWorks. Did you know they're working on Shrek 5? Yep, the swamp is calling. Plus, we've got sequels for Kung Fu Panda and The Wild Robot on the horizon. DreamWorks is seriously spoiling us, and I am here for it. But let's get real. The Bad Guys 2 is leading the charge. Mark your calendars, August 1st, 2025. I'll be first in line with my popcorn. What about you? This sequel has all the makings of a hit. A heartwarming redemption story, slick animation, and new characters to shake things up. But what I love most is how The Bad Guys 2 isn't afraid to ask tough questions about forgiveness and second chances. Can the bad guys really stay good, or will they give in to their old ways? The trailer leaves us on the edge of our seats. I want to hear from you. What do you think about this first look? Are you excited for the bad girl's arrival? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Alright, that's all for today's breakdown of The Bad Guys 2. DreamWorks is swinging for the fences with this one, and I can't wait to see how Mr. Wolf and the gang handle their next adventure. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your fellow animation fans, and hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all things DreamWorks. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll catch you in the next one.